get, I guess I would say to you that this does appear to be a, a character. You don't have history of violence at all. There's no criminal um, conviction. Um, um, and I'm, I'm sad that you're standing there too because um, he had skull fractures and a, a brain bleed. Um, he was neurologically uh, devastated and he had blood force trauma to both sides of his head and there were signs. And, and, and I think when I, when I read this, the, neuro, the neurosurgeon specialist um, was prepared to testify that there were old injuries to this child. So that, that would mean that this is not the first time the child um, was assaulted. And um, obviously it's unclear whether or not you um, had assaulted, assaulted your son um, prior to that day or not. Um, but when I read that, um, I'm convinced that you made the right decision in uh, pursuing the second degree murder charges because I'm sure in conjunction with um, the abuse of the child and the fact that this child had prior injuries and had been in pain um, previously and had a brain bleed previously, I'm, I'm quite certain that the jury could potentially um, convict you of first degree murder and that I would then be sentencing you to life without parole. Um, that didn't happen. You, you, I think that you made an intelligent choice to plead to a second degree murder um, so that you'll have, have the opportunity for rehabilitation and um, to, have, to be released and have some life uh, left to you. Um, but uh, there were profound injuries um, to aid and again on both sides of his head from prior uh, brain bleeds. And then um, the mother has indicated that she did see you shaking Aiden violently back and forth with his, his head was snapping back and forth. And you know, I, that's what she says, uh, that, you know, only you and her know, if you, you, only the two of you know for sure what happened to this baby. Um, but, uh, I, I guess I would adopt the, the words of the prosecutor. You were, you were supposed to protect your son and instead you killed him. Um, and because of that, with regard to second degree, uh, we count to child abuse in the first degree. Um, it's a sense of this court that you uh, serves um, seven to eight years in the Michigan Department of Corrections with 656 days credit. And with regard to count three, uh, the murder two conviction. 25 to 80 years in the Michigan Department of Corrections was 656 days. Um, there's a crime victim's, uh, that's the credit, 656. There's a crime victim's rights to be $130, court costs 500, state costs 136, attorney fees to be determined, DNA, you must comply with DNA uh, testing, DNA costs is $60, and you must have no contact um, with uh, Ariana Avery. Thank God for giving you. Did you give him his appellate rights? Yes. Thank you. So John tendering his appellate rights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.